What's up everybody? How long has it been since I stood in front of the camera in my office and recorded a video for you guys? I cannot even remember. Cannot remember. So I actually just filmed like a 25 minute video about how I lost weight over the last year. And then I was like, nobody's going to want to watch this bullshit. Just get to the point. And I was like, okay, so I sat down for a minute and I was like, focus. And I came back in and I'm gonna try and make this video 10 minute or shorter, okay? 10 minute. So a couple of days ago, for those of you who are like, what is she talking about? A couple of days ago on Instagram, if you're not following me, do it, okay? I posted a photo of myself from back in the day, like exactly a year ago and then the day 365 days later and everybody was like wow how did you do it oh my god you look so great and I was like oh my god thank you thank you so much I love it so I asked everyone okay would you want me to make a video about this and tell you guys how I lost the weight and everybody was like yes hello so I was like cool I'll do that for those of you who do not know, I also work as a personal trainer. That is like my main job. I have been doing it for over 10 years now. It's been a long time. I know I'm old. So, um, yeah, so what happened was last year, I kind of noticed my body, my health, my weight, everything was just like, I noticed that I would say between right after about July. So I actually went back and looked at all my photos, all my videos, and I was like, okay, what is the point at which I actually started to gain the weight? And it wasn't until around July that I really, really started to notice the change. Between July and November, my weight went up, my energy went down, and my mood got worse and worse. I noticed that I started feeling very depressed, very sad, I was having mood swings all the time, you know, and then I was like, what is going on? What is going on? And a lot of people who were following me on YouTube at the time and Instagram and all that sort of stuff had commented on it. They were like, you're gaining weight, you're getting fat, whatever, whatever. When you say something like that, either express it in concern or don't say it because you really don't know what's going on. But you know, for me, I am fairly confident in my body. I work out like an insane person. Um, so I initially was like, oh, it's because I'm moving from powerlifting to strongman. I'm only gaining the weight because I'm getting stronger, like beast. So that's what I kind of just brush it off as. Around Christmas time or like when it was approaching Christmas, I noticed I would come home from like a three, four hour work shift and I would be exhausted. I would be like, I feel like I'm a hundred years old. What is going on? So that's when I went to the doctor and I had everything like tested and everything checked out. And it turned out that my thyroid was like a little bit slower than it needs to be. Bear in mind that I actually have thyroid issues in my genes. So regardless of how healthy I am, how fit I am, how well I eat, this was just something that seemed to be the inevitable. And uh, she was a really, really, really great doctor. She still is. And I told her that I don't want to go on any medication. I don't want to do anything. I need to give myself at least six months to lose this weight, get my, my body back, my energy back, and my strength back. Because a huge chunk of my self-confidence comes from my strength, not from my body or like blah, blah, blah. I care about how much weight I can lift, okay? So she's like, okay, whatever. Like legally, you can decline any service you want to. So I was like, okay, doggy, ta da So, what I did is I started talking to my friends who had been diagnosed with uh, hypothyroidism. So hype O is when the thyroid is like, I don't want to work today. And it just sits around, doesn't do its job. And then you gain all this stupid weight and you're like, bitch, what the fuck? So whereas a hyperthyroid is like when someone eats and eats and eats and eats, and then they don't gain weight. And then you're like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, so for me, it was the first where I was like, eh? So 
What I did is I decided to eliminate all the foods that the thyroid cannot metabolize well or the thyroid takes time to metabolize or is slow to metabolize. So essentially, all my friends who had successfully um, stepped away from hypothyroidism said that they went on a vegan diet. And I was like, okay, I eat literally chicken, egg, beef, pork, turkey, all day long. Like my in entire day is comprised of different dead animals. So what am I gonna do? So I was like, okay, if this is something that's gonna work, I wanna give it a shot. But the main thing that I read about was that the thyroid cannot metabolize gluten very well. A lot of people who gave up gluten found a lot of success with their thyroid. Even if people didn't have like excessive hypothyroidism or anything like that. So I was like, okay, so I started off going vegan first and I did all the research I could, excuse me. I came up with a meal plan and so I would, you know, eat vegan food throughout the day, which was more like tofu and beans and chickpeas and all that sort of stuff. And you know, like you can go to Whole Foods or the grocery store and we're fortunate enough to live in a time where you can find a lot of options if you are vegan. So I already don't really, didn't consume dairy much, so it wasn't a big deal, but it was the meat that I had to give up and find equivalents in uh, vegan proteins. Surprisingly, like chickpeas and kidney beans and all that sort of stuff is actually a very high source of protein. So that worked out okay. The only thing that happened in that time that I'm going to tell you right now is because I was not diligent enough with everything, I started losing a lot of my hair. Like what? So that apparently happened due to a vitamin B deficiency because a lot of the vegan proteins lack vitamin B. So my doctor was like, okay, we gotta get this sorted. So I immediately started taking vitamin B and I noticed my, my hair was okie dokie. So vitamin B and biotin, I took both. Like I took the B complex and biotin. For my thyroid in terms of supplements, I also took selenium and vitamin D. You have to take both of them together for maximum absorption. However, you have to get your iodine levels checked first to make sure that you can take selenium. Do not just go to the store and buy it and take it because I don't know what you're gonna do to yourself. So these are all the things that I ran over, you know, with my doctor. And like I said, she was one of like, she's one of the like great fucking doctors who's willing to listen and be like, okay, this is good. This is bad. This is good. You're on the right track, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, you are a godsend. Um, the main thing that I forgot to mention that I have to remember to tell you is especially when it comes down to your thyroid and having a slower metabolism, which you should get checked out is avoid eating cruciferous vegetables. If you do not know what crucifer cruciferous vegetables are, those are like the dark green vegetables like spinach, kale, what else is there? Broccoli, avoid that sort of stuff if you want to make sure you're getting your metabolism in order because the body cannot break that down as easily and it really slows the thyroid down. Now, some websites and internet people say that you can have cruciferous vegetables if they're cooked at a high temperature and then, you know, you can consume them. But I completely avoided that altogether, which is really, really strange for me because like, I feel like, you know, in the personal training world or in the health and fitness field, one of the main things that we always hear is like, you should eat a lot of spinach, have a lot of kale, have a lot of green shakes. So I was like, I can't have this anymore. I was like, all right, I guess I'm not gonna eat that. So instead of that, I started having like a lot of like carrots, uh, peas, lots of berries. Uh, what other vegetables? Cauliflower. What other vegetables do I eat? Tomatoes, mushrooms. So anything that's not in that cruciferous family group was something that I avoided altogether. In this time, I have continued to train. Like if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you will notice that I'm still training like 
a crazy person. So my training did not stop and obviously that also played a very big role in this whole ordeal. If you don't do strongman or powerlifting, it's okay. But the main thing is get your body moving, get your like blood flowing and start burning that fat off in your own way where you can, whether it's doing cardio, whether you wanna to go to a Zumba class, whether you wanna do like bodybuilding stuff or you wanna just use machines, whatever it is, just do it, okay? Other than that, the other supplements that I took for my training that really helped me lose the weight was carnitine and tribulus. And I took 2000 milligrams of carnitine every single day and I took about 900 milligrams of tribulus. And then last but not least, when it comes to, um, when it comes to kind of fixing or healing or recovering from anything in your life, your mind is like first. So if you are convinced in your mind that you're not gonna be okay, that you're not gonna lose the weight, that you're not gonna fix this problem, nothing is gonna work. You know, like whether you are dealing with a severe illness, whether you are dealing with a small illness, if you are mentally strong and you're mentally capable of allowing yourself to believe that you can recover, that you can deal with this and you have what it takes to fix it, you will make it through it. You might not make it through as fast, you might not make it through as you want it, but you will make it through that. And that I believe is very true in anything in your life. Like if you are just like, no, I don't think this is gonna happen. I just feel like maybe I'm just meant to be fat. I don't have the energy to go to the gym, but I really like eating bread. I don't know what to do. Well, okay then sit there and be that way. Or you can be like, you know what? I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna figure out how to fix this. I'm gonna like take this challenge head on because I don't wanna feel like this. And that's what was, that was exactly what the case was with me. I was so sick and tired of feeling tired and lazy and depressed all the time. My life, like my aim in life is just to be strong for as long as I am alive. You know, I wanna be fit, I wanna be healthy, I wanna be happy. Like, these things are important to me. So as soon as I was able to sit down with this doctor and be like, you know what? This is what I wanna do. And I'm gonna try and do this on my own because I believe in myself. I believe that I'm smart enough to figure out how I need to fix this. And I'm really proud of myself. I still have about four-ish pounds left now that I need to lose. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy with how far I've come. And a year ago, if someone told me, this is gonna take you a year, I would have been like, bitch, no problem. I will give this as much time as it needs because I want this problem to be resolved. And that's exactly what happens. When I went back to get my blood work done, the doctor was like, damn, everything is fixed. You is good to go, girl. And I was like, I know. <laughs> so the moral of the story is like, whatever your issue is that you're dealing with, just like establish it, like just, concrete, just carve it out in your mind that no matter what I'm going through, I'm gonna fight through this and I'm gonna get through it no matter what. And I assure you, it will happen. Do not allow doubt and fear and like worry or time stop you from achieving anything. And weight loss is such a small part of the bigger picture in our life. If your weight is stopping you from doing something in your life, then it's a big fucking thing. Then you gotta get it done, right? So if going on a vegan diet or going gluten-free, you know, for me, the grain thing has been a big, big thing. Not grain, processed stuff. So no processed sugar, no processed flour, no processed salt. Eliminate all the bullshit food from your life Eat healthy and clean, avoid the cruciferous vegetables, have your multivitamin, take your selenium and, and vitamin D, but make sure you talk to your doctor about that because your selenium is very, very dependent on your iodine levels. So just make sure you get that checked out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Like it's, 
that's it. It's a 20 minute video, but like consider this, excuse me, consider this a pep talk from me, consider this a pep talk from a friend who is telling you that whatever it is you're going through, just keep fucking going. And before you know it, this will be a story in your past, something you will look back at and be proud that you made it through that. You know what I'm saying? So you guys will probably have more questions, comments, concerns, queries, angry issues, disagreements or whatever. And you can leave those all down below for me. And I will try and edit this video and make it a little bit shorter. But for the most part, please, Pay attention to everything that I'm saying. Um, this is really what I did. And if you guys want me to talk more about like the foods that I had, what I had for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all that sort of stuff, or you need help with training, know that I'm here to help you out. So let me know and I will do my best to help you guys out, okay? Uh, yeah, until next time, think strong. Always, 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 always think strong, okay? And uh, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you kind of like this video, still give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.